everybody, it's the Lawn Gnome, and welcome to the 23rd episode of my special segment on my channel for 2019, 007 A Bondiful Year. And I cannot believe it, guys, here we are, the final month of this special segment, and I gotta say... It's a little sad knowing that at the end of the December month we will not be talking about James Bond until we finally get the 25th film in theaters in April of 2020, but we are here to talk about what some may say is probably the greatest James Bond film ever, and what a landmark year it was for this one to come out. It was 2012's Skyfall. One also stars Javier Bardem, Naomi Harris, Ray Fiennes, Judi Dench, and Ben Wishaw. So, in this film, we definitely get a very interesting story, where 007, in the beginning of the movie, ends up trying to hunt down a specific guy, and he ends up getting shot by his own fellow operative. And throughout the beginning of that movie, especially when we see the opening song by The Wonder That She Is Adele, which was one of the first of back-to-back Oscar-winning songs for the 007 franchise. He has basically gone off the grid for the purposes of recuperating and doesn't even bother to tell M about what is happening. But something is happening while he's gone, and that's the fact that a new kind of terrorist is attacking MI6 because there is a list going around that has the names of major MI6 operatives, and this person knows who they are, knows who M is, and wants to make sure that he takes them all out. And he's doing it by means of cyber terrorism. Just the click of a mouse and a target goes boom. And it makes everything so much more intense. People are so much more paranoid because you have no idea how your information is actually being obtained through the world of cyberspace, and you have no idea what those people on the dark web are trying to accomplish. But then 007 comes back, he gets debriefed, and he is sent on a mission to hunt down who has this list and put an end to this villain's plot. So... I was curious, after seeing all of the James Bond films now, up until this point, I had been saying for a while that I think that Skyfall was the best James Bond film, and I wasn't sure if I was going to feel that same way now that I've seen every single one of them, but now that I have officially seen Skyfall because of this specific series of videos on my channel... I am proud to say that I still believe that Skyfall is the best James Bond film, and what a great way to celebrate the 50th anniversary of James Bond on the big screen than with a movie like Skyfall. Why do I feel that this movie is the best one? It really is the perfect package for a James Bond film. James Bond is dynamic, he is human, he is funny in this movie. The villain, who is played by Javier Bardem, Silva, is probably one of the most realistic and most terrifying villains. He is so terrifying on his own that he does not even need a henchman, and that says a lot about Silva. The fact that he has such strong connections to M and MI6 makes it even more of a frightening villain, and that's why he is without a doubt one of the most dangerous villains that we've ever seen in James Bond. The rest of MI6 is fantastic as well. I love Ray Fiennes in this movie. I love his witty banter, especially with James Bond. Ben Wishaw as the new Q, and Naomi Harris as the new Money Penny. The best part about Naomi Harris is the fact that we don't even know that she is Money Penny until the very end of the movie where she finally takes her regular role that Money Penny has graced in the James Bond films since 1962. Hugh is without a doubt one of the best parts of this movie. There has been no dynamic ever before like we've seen between James Bond and Q with Ben Wishaw and Daniel Craig. The fact that Ben Wishaw's Q is such a young guy but he is wise well beyond his years that James Bond still doesn't even trust him. And I also loved the little meta moment moment that they had where James Bond didn't get any fancy gadgets and Q just turns to him and says, what were you expecting? An exploding pen? Especially that little meta moment towards Goldeneye, which was absolutely hilarious. But I like the fact that they kept it basic, they kept it bare bones, they kept the true espionage and spy film. I think that that's also what makes this movie incredible. And also the fact that we dive deep into James Bond's past and the fact that we even go back to his childhood home for the final showdown between him and 
Silva. And I love the fact that the great Albert Finney, who plays Skyfall's caretaker, is there for just a couple of moments because to see Albert Finney in a James Bond film couldn't be more awesome. And we even get a very realistic, sad moment at the end of this movie with Death of M. I don't think I have any issues with spoiling this because this movie has been out for almost 10 years. And the fact that this is what happened with Judy Dench's character. It couldn't be a more perfect way for Judy Dench to officially sign off and Ray Fiennes take up the new post as M. I definitely will say to you that you are going to just appreciate this movie, even if you're not a James Bond fan. It is just an incredible, action-packed, dramatic thrill ride. Everything about this movie is letter perfect. I just enjoyed watching this movie so much, and the fact that 50 Years of Bond culminated into a movie like Skyfall couldn't have been the better way to do it. It was just a fantastic film when I saw it the first time, and a fantastic film when I've seen it now. And with one more James Bond film to review before we wait for the new one. I just have to say that it is great to know that through all the times that the franchise had stumbled and not given us the best James Bond film that we've ever wanted every single time, and especially after the last couple of years with Daniel Craig, it is just great to know that just changing the whole format and not keeping it gimmicky, not keeping it cheesy or campy, and just giving us a good old-fashioned action spy film, I think that that was the best thing that you could have done for Ian Fleming's creation, because every single one of the Daniel Craig films up until this point has just been a good overall movie altogether. And that is why I will give Skyfall a very proud four stars out of four. It really is the best James Bond film. Knowing that I've seen Goldfinger, Goldeneye, You Only Live Twice, The Spy Who Loved Me, this one is definitely the best James Bond film of them all. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please leave your comments in the box below, and let's discuss Skyfall. And I'm looking forward to seeing you for the last episode of A Bondiful Year in two weeks. Take care. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.